First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my gloves, like I always do, as soon as I can find what I've done with them. Oh, there they are, right there. Been a rattlesnake, it would have bit me. Alright, once I get these gloves on, the first thing I'm going to do is take one of these coons off the gamble here, and I'm going to comb the next one out. I'll open him, I'll skin him. These are both boar coons, by the way, that I took. And uh, so I think what I'll do is just do that one over there first. We'll lay this one down here. And we will bring this boy up a little bit. all that sawdust and stuff out because I did have them back there while I was loading wood in there the other day and okay we're gonna pull both front arms down again just to make sure that they're down and they are okay there's that I'm gonna take our hook blade knife we're gonna start at the back of the heel just like we always do we're gonna come down between the testicles and the anus Right straight across down to the other side. We're going to move our hand out of the way in case that should slip. And there's that. Take our handy dandy little stainless steel knife here. And uh, we'll get this coon opened up here. Now, I know there are faster ways of doing this than what I'm doing it. And that's okay. To each his own and God for us all. If I sound a little bit frustrated right now, it is because of that camera again. But I think we got it figured out and we're, we're running the show with it again. So we'll try it again. On a cold coon like this, you're going to have to just kind of listen for your knife. If you hit, you're hitting that leather, you want to turn it upward so that you're cutting into the coon, not into the hide. Okay, now we're going to cut around the anus here. And we'll use our tailing knife for that. Again, this one is the one I got from my uh, brother-in-law's dad's family. I got quite a few little things from him that he used when he was skinning a lot of coons in his day. Cut right around the anus there. Cut right up to that center line that we just cut. And that's all there is to that. Now we'll open the other side. Just cutting towards the tailbone is all. These coons are really cold. You hear guys talking about, yeah, he just skinned a warm coon, it really went easy. Well, most of them that I skin that are in any good shape at all from the old days were all cold. They came in to me frozen. And then I had to thaw them out a little bit in order to take And I used to skin a lot of them. But you've all heard that story before, I'm sure. Okay, and come over on the other side and do the same thing. See what I can show you here. I'm just freeing up the skin around the foot. But I'm not cutting towards my hand, folks. Always make sure that, that, that your hands are clear of them sharp knives because they're not any fun to get cut with. Okay, now we will take 
our tailing knife again and we'll come down. We're going to come to the V that we just created here. We're going to cut just an inch or two at a time down the center of that tail. And we'll do that until we get where we can uh, pull the tail. If you're doing this with a lot of coons, don't worry about the fat on here. It comes off easy if you got a good knife. And the post flushing knife is, in my opinion, one of the best ones on the market. That's just my personal opinion, but we all got them, I think.